35 principles. The homunculus is uh, number three, and it refers to the conceptualization of a, of a little man or woman inside our head who is steering things, and we all sense it. We all feel it right now. I imagine you and I both can sense it. It's like, it's like having somebody right behind your forehead in there steering the controls, looking out your eyes. You don't feel that sense down in your left toe. <laughs> it's, it's right up here, suitably, given that that's where our brain is, and that's where our, the seat of our main, major senses are. I use this idea for two purposes. One, as a substitute for the concept of a soul. The center of my conscious being is right here. You can cut off my arm, or my hand, and that conscious sense will remain. Not so if you cut off my head. So there's something to that. The seat of my being, my conscious being, is in my, is it within me, within my head, and sustained by my biological functions and the fact that I'm alive still. That's the second part. When I die, when my heart stops beating, or whatever happens that causes me to, to cease life, cease, con cease consciousness, uh, you know, permanently, death, that thing that I am, that homunculus, won't get away. There's no escape hatch anywhere. And no one has done any work to demonstrate any magical escape, like a soul seeping out of the body to go somewhere else. So with that in mind, with the fact that who I am is an aspect of me and trapped within me and can't escape away from me, when I die, that means that whatever happens to my body, so too happens to the rest of me. Oblivion awaits. The homunculus is a reminder of my mortal frailty and vulnerability to death. Nothing more than that.